hello friends welcome to my channel today i bring a new topic and this is not part of the ongoing excel learning series some of the formula which we are going to use today has already learned in our chapter so it is a part of revision and also part of uh, understanding that how we can use this type of function in our day-to-day -day life because some of you might be thinking what is the uses of all these things so at the time of learning any new function we should also know that how we can use this function otherwise the relevancy of any formula won't be there you will feel that what is the need of learning all this stuff so whatever new thing you are learning you have should always try to find out a way how we you can implement all those formulas okay so today we are going to find the sunday of any year or month this is not a big task you can find calendar when you check the calendar you will file on the sunday and everything but it is always good that if you can generate this kind of things from the excel also so here i have already generated number of sundays uh, in january february like that up to december 2024 so we will be learning how we can generate this one by writing the complex formula before we start writing the formula complex formula it is better for us to understand that what are the functions which we are going to use in this formula these are the three functions which we are going to use in this calculation so let's see what are those three formula here number one is a date date function it will convert any given number or in any given text to a date so how it is done let's see here date i will write the date and then first thing i have to provide is the year if i want to convert first january 2024 then i have to first give the year that is 2024 then i have to provide the month so it is january january month is one then day one okay or there you can say 10 also no problem any day then it will give you 10th of january 2024 like this that will convert any input you have provided in the format given then it will convert into a date all right then weekday weekday is going to give you the week number or week name so excel has already made some inbuilt function where it recognized that sunday is represented by number one monday by two tuesday by three thursday wednesday by four like that seven is saturday so there are some return value where i have already explained in this check chapter you can check this le lecture also to understand what is date how the weekday is working here also you can understand but the full chapter is given in this link below above you click there and i will also give in the description you can check this that out now here also i am trying to explain you that weekday is going to return suppose this is 10th of january 2024 but we don't know what day it is it is sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday we don't by using weekday we can find that what day it is actually okay so if it returns one then it means it is sunday if it returns two then it is sun monday three tuesday four like that up to seven seven is a saturday then again it will start from one one to seven like that okay so let's find out what day it is i will just pass the reference then it will ask you the return type then number one is sunday and saturday because in india first week day of the week is one uh, sunday then saturday is the last day of the week that's why we used to say weekend okay and number two if we select two number two then it will start one with monday and seven as a sunday so here for in this calculation we are using one because this is a general method if you we don't select anything then it will return as a default setting okay so here we are selecting one and then let's see what numbers it returns actually this is in date format so let me change to general okay it is giving four it means it is a wednesday 10th of january is wednesday we can check that out from here january 
10th. So it is Wednesday. All right. So this is another function which we are going to use in finding out the Sunday. And number third is the row. Row is nothing but it returns row number. When I provide row and give A1, then it will return 1. And then when I drag this is down, it will give row 2, means the cell provided is A2. Like that, when I drag it down, it will change A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and automatically it will change 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. And this is, this is important because when we find out the first Sunday using the complex formula, we only need to find out the first Sunday of the year. Then, using this row function, we will be calculating a number, generating a number by multiplying by 7. Then it will give 7, 14, 21, 28, like that, and 35 and 42 like that and that number will be added to the first week so when i add seven days to the first sunday then it will give you second sunday and when i add another seven number to the second sunday then it will give third sunday and then if i add another seven number to the third sunday then it will give another sunday that is fourth sunday like that it will keep giving you four five six seven up to 52 or more than that also okay so that's why we are using this row function here i have already worked out that one but i will delete this this one and then let's write a fresh okay here the first function is if we are going if why because we are going to compare the given date is what day here we have to use weekday okay in the weekday what you we used to pass we used to pass date right but here we don't have any complete date it is only year so we have to first convert this year into a date year already given so we have to use that function as we have used here then in the year we have to pass a date we have to pass year month and day year is already given here so we will select only the reference then press f4 to freeze it and then we are making january and first day of january all right now it is giving first day of the january 2024 and then it is comparing with the weekday if it is equal to one means if the weekday equal to one then it is what is this that is sunday then if it is sunday because we are going to find out a sunday so when it is the condition illogical test is true then then it we will write the date as a sunday okay so date yet there is no complete date so again we will be writing date and then we will take this reference f3 or oh sorry f4 then one month then first day first day of the month uh, first january 2024 if it is true it is true condition but if it is false means if the weekday is not one means it is not sunday if it is not sunday then we have to find out the sunday what the Sunday would be first we have to give the date then again we will write this one f4 then this one this one then we will be adding 8 why 8 we will be minus again deducting the weekday because if 1st January 2024 is what date it is uh, what date it is it is a Monday so Monday will give you return of 2 right so in the two we are adding eight then how much it becomes 10 all right from 10 we are again deducting the weekday what is the weekday of date this one freeze it then one one now monday is a date on monday if we are adding say suppose uh, the one then two three four five six seven eight nine it becomes nine by this calculation it be we are turning this first january 2024 to 9 january 2024 all right 
and from 9 january 2024 we are again minus deducting weekday of this one so what is the weekday weekday was number two so from nine if two is deducted then how much remains seven so that seven is next sunday because this is the uh, first january is not sunday then we are going forward to seven seventh day then it will give you 7th january 2024 and that 7th january 2024 is sunday first sunday of the month all right then this is already done we can stop here okay we can stop here we can stop here but problem here is if we drag it will still give 7 january because there is no increment it is still finding out the same thing but we have to increase it next sunday next sunday whenever we drag it down it should give you next sunday next sunday but here it is giving the same day for that we have to add that row function here we have to add the row function okay then plus row row a1 minus one row a1 is giving how much row a1 is giving one all right row a1 this function this function row a1 will return one but why we are minusing uh, deducting one because if we are not deducting one then this will become one and then when it is multiplied by seven it is multiplied by seven it will turn into seven and that seven will be added to the already sunday then the first sunday will be miss out that's why we are finding out the row number and deducting again so that it becomes zero the first date will be first day will be zero then next day will be seven like that it will keep increase all right now it is seven now let's drag it only one so it has already dragged everything i will just drag only one my mouse is having some kind of problem okay before i click it simply i will drag only one then it will give you 14 next i will drag 21 because that function of this seven first row is zero because a1 is 1 a1 minus 1 is 0 0 into 7 is 0 so nothing is added to the first date but next time when i drag here it is row a2 a2 minus 1 a2 is giving 2 2 minus 1 is 1 1 into 7 is 7 so that 7 is added to the first sunday then it becomes second sunday here a3 a3 means 3 3 minus 1 is 2 2 into 7 is 14 so that 14 is added to the first date that means after two sunday then next next time if i drag it it will give a4 a4 means 4 4 minus 1 is called to 3 3 into 7 is 21 so 21 days is added to the sun, uh, first uh, first sunday then it becomes fourth sunday right like that it will keep adding on one by one after another and you can find out all 52 weeks yeah 29 december 2024 simple no? now this is by giving here but if we are giving here date then it is even easier so let's do it here if uh, weekday now date is already given so we do not need to pass this date function because date is already here so we will only pass this one f3 equal to one then f3 locked else f3 lock plus eight minus weekday this one four plus bracket row 
a1 minus 1 into into 7 now it is giving in number format so we have to change this into that format so to change this number into that format what we need uh, used to do the shortcut is control shift has okay it is giving 7 now so i will be adding another formula here so that there is a automatic number before that let me put this one here okay here is equal to if this is blank equal to nothing then nothing else plus one so it is giving one okay now i am dragging one it is giving 14 so it is even same no? so i have let the format be centralized okay here also it gives the same thing here also it gives the same thing so either you provide date a year only year or either you provide a full date it will still give you the same thing so let's change this one to another date like uh, may 015 may let's see the 5 may is sunday then 12 is 12 19 and 26 let's see if this is correct or not or one more thing we can do is that whether this is correct or not we can check if no if weekday equal to one if it is one then write it sunday else wrong let's copy the same formula to all so all is giving sunday 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 it means this is wrong there is nothing that's why it is saying wrong so these dates are sunday that is already confirmed so there is no difference here also we can copy this formula and we can paste it here then we can again check so sunday these are all sunday right so our formula is successful and as a tips i will give you another formula that i have already developed that is instead of writing all this clumsy this long complicated formula like this it is complicated and even it, this is even more complicated see all this formula so the easy way is that you can create your own function in your own name maybe like take me sunday i can say take me sunday that is a name of function here i have already created one function of my own choice so instead of writing all the formula what i will do is is equal to find here find sunday this is a function i have developed okay find sun and then i have to provide only the date this one then lock it then a1 that's it all right it is giving the same 12 may 19 may 26 may 20 everything is same all right up to here 2025 it is already calculated for 52 weeks so i will be explaining you about this <coughs> lambda function this is created using the new function called lambda using a lambda function you can develop any application means any uh, function of your own choice like suppose some and then anything whatever complicated formula you have you can pass into lambda and then with this lambda function you can create your, your own formula and that own formula you can use in the excel and find out this thing so for that 
I will be creating another video separately exclusively only for the lambda function and that when I upload it I will notify you and, and for those who have not subscribed to my channel you please do subscribe it because it costs nothing to you only you will learn knowledge out of it okay so you please do subscribe and also share to your friends because the more you subscribe the more you like the more you interact with me i will be more interested and i will be making new and new videos so for any work which i am doing here i have done several times before i make this video so that it also helps me learning it also increase my knowledge at the same time i am also helping you so it is a two-way benefit okay it's a win-win for every one of us so please do subscribe please do like and that's it for this lecture see you in the next video thank you Bye bye